Hello, Daisy. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Good. And you? I'm good, thank you. Did you have a nice day? Uh, I, I had a hard day. Oh, why? What happened? Because I had a lot of work today. What do you do, Daisy? I I do many things. I prepare a gym or pursue the samples. You repair pursue the samples. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Daisy, what do you repair? I prepare jeans or components. Ah, okay. Okay. For for sewing um, clothes. Uh huh. Only jeans or other clothes too. Mm, clothes. Okay. Yeah. All all the clothes. All the clothes. Yes, okay. all the clothes. Okay. All right. And you, Jose, how was your day? Hi, it was good. What did you do today? Well, I, I have been working the, the whole day. I have been uh, a busy day. I have been, well, in my job, I have been sending some information to my boss, reading emails, answer calls, solving problems. Always we have always these problems in in the job, right? Right. <laughs> Never we can finish and say, ah, today no problems. Every day have something new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Ah, the same. I, I work all day teaching and doing different things. So every day is a day for uh, new class or uh, new questions, different students. But I like, I like teaching, so it's good for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anna, how about you? How was your day? Fine, teacher. <laughs> okay. You? Good, good, Anna. What did you do today, Anna? Um... Today, um, I was to the therapy mm -hmm. for my back. Ah, do you yes. have, do you have a big problem with your back? Yes, um, I I had a cirurgy, cirugia. surgery, surgery, yes, okay. in December last. Mm. Okay, and uh, you are going to funter or, or, or not necessary to practice? No, no, no. no. Okay. No, uh, it's only um, rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. Uh, yeah, rehabilitation in uh, the east. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, every day. <laughs> Oh wow, wow! It's, yes, it's a little difficult then. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, today we're going to begin with our new topic, and the idea is: yesterday we had the present participles and past participles. Do you yes. remember? Yes. Yes. Sí. Yes. Good. Okay, Gerardo. What is the present participle? Hello, teacher. Hello, Gerardo. The present participle uh, is when the things. Don't worry, maybe, don't worry, Anna, Anna can help you. Anna, can you help him? What is the present participle? 
Um, is the activity uh, the last? Mm -hmm. no, the finish? The finish uh, in this moment and uh, starting in the past. Okay. This is the, the present perfect continuous. Remember, the present participle is only the verb with ing. It's all. Oh, okay. It's just the, for example, swimming, running, playing. The, okay. past, the past participle is the verb ed, if regular, or the, if is irregular, you have to memorize the form, okay? Which is different. For example, it's not the past tense. Is the idea is that is, uh, for example, eat, the past participle is uh, eaten, no ate. Okay. 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 Now, I know uh, some had uh, tried to do the exercise and had maybe a few mistakes or something. Don't worry, because you, if you have mistakes, you can repeat. You can do again the... It's not, it's not only one time. If you want to improve the grade and have good grade, you practice again. You can have two, three, four times if you need. It's not only, ah, one time and you have bad answer and that's it. No, you practice again. <clears throat> okay. Well, okay. in my case, uh, sometimes I can't understand the, the exercises. And I think... In, for example, in the section 3.11, I think it's not much with the... 2.11? Picture. Uh -huh. yes. okay. okay, let me look in this moment so that we are clear. Maybe I can explain. 2.11, okay. 3, 3.11. 3.11, okay, okay. Let me go back. And the third, and the third point 10 also. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't answer other thing. Is the 3.10, the number one. 3.10, number one. Who, yes. Who is Ang Lee? Yes. He's, he's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, okay. Okay. So the person is, you, you have the question, who is Ang Lee? But what we want to do is join the sentence. So when we join the sentence, we are going to put the answer, who is Ang Lee? He is, I'm, I'm writing it in this moment. That way you can, okay. you can see. Let me make sure who, uh, who made the film Hulk, okay. This is the idea of what we would like as an example. We are joining the two sentences using the word oh. who or that. So we use yeah. who, who for people and which for things. Because he is a movie director, we use who because it's a person. If it's a thing, an object, we use which. Yeah, if, you, if you check the the answer mm -hmm. is <laughs> and uh, is mark one. Mm -hmm. now let me see the next one the question was 3.11 uh, what, what was the question I don't remember Jose or Gerardo. I don't remember. One of you had the, the question for 3.11. Um, the answer is wrong as well. He's a film director. Mm -hmm. And who made the film Hulk is wrong. Mm -hmm. This is why I, I can't understand. 
He's a contractor. For which I'm sorry. Uh, what what are we looking at? At in three um, point in three point eleven, no questions. Uh, yeah, the first of all, we want to, we want to say the three point ten and the okay. number number one. one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when I write the fill in the answer, the when I check if I did it well, it's you see, you see it's wrong in the person. No, yeah. I submit if and it's correct. And it's correct, yes. One moment, I share my screen with you. That way you see I don't lie. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, okay. And just copy it. You answer the uh, Look. Yeah. He's a movie you, director. You said, but you said, you said he's a film in the chat. Oh, let me see. Really? Wow. Yes. Okay, okay. <coughs> Just because the, the, the sentence, yes, that, the, the original sentence is movie director. So, yes. so it's necessary that the same. Mm -hmm. Always you need to write okay. the same. Let me check in the chat. He's a Ah, you are correct. You are correct. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Yes. Is a is the synonym for the movie film, but no, you have to use the exact words for the computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's but, correct. But it's correct. Uh -huh. Always with yeah. the same for the who, but that way you have the example. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Thank other you. question was, you're welcome. And the other question, what happened with three point eleven? Yes, uh, for example, in the first. Answer this uh, she hates going to school but always loves to read. But in the, the option, there are uh, paragraphs from one to six. But when I try to find uh, the answer, you don't find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, because it's talking about her, J.K. Rowling. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't, and you'd have to read, because it says she hated going to school, but always loved to read. Um, it doesn't say in the second paragraph, it says... It only talks about her writing the stories, I think. After returning home. Yeah. Well, according to the, the answer, yeah. Paragraph two. Yes, because mm -hmm. I'm looking, but it says, J.K. Rowling was born in England, 1965. From a young age, she knew she wanted to be a writer. When she was six, she wrote her first story about a rabbit that gets sick. At school, she used to make up stories to tell her friends. Hmm, that doesn't match for the information in the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 you are correct. It's, it doesn't match, but it, it tells you that the correct answer is number two. Yeah. Okay. So now everybody knows number two. Number two is the correct because it doesn't have that correct information in there. Mm hmm Because it doesn't even... It doesn't mention that she didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Only says she wanted to be a writer. It doesn't match the idea. Okay. Thank you for mentioning, Jose. That way we can take a look. Sometimes, like in number one, it has a little mistake and it doesn't have the letter L. She hated going to school. Things like that. Sometimes they, in the platform, they make a small mistake or... They don't match, so it's good that you tell me. That way, I can report it. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. So, if there are no other questions, we're going to go ahead and continue. Um, I see some of you are very good and advancing fast in the uh, in the platform, which is very good. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at synonyms, which is lesson three point five. 
lesson 3.5 are synonyms. Does anybody know what are synonyms? Norma, Selena, do you know what are synonyms? Maybe two words exchange the meaning. Okay, yeah. It's two different words that have a similar meaning. Usually it's the same meaning, but many times it's similar meaning. So today we're going to be beginning with the idea of 3.5 words that are similar or the same meaning i'm going to send you so that we can do with our partners some exercises of some words okay so as an example many times we have words that we use like the example of the word uh pretty ah she is pretty she is beautiful they're similar words not the same, but they're synonym, words that are similar to each other, okay? So in this moment, I sent you a link for the first words that we are going to do, okay? These are synonyms. Does everybody in the chat, you can click on them, okay? We have several of them. I'm going to send you four different links. There are four different exercises. They're small, they're fast. Each exercise is only six questions, okay? It's only a few words, but the, it's important that we get common, these common words, that way we know. Like, like when you say, oh, this person is uh, big, or this person is huge, Okay, not exactly, but they are similar, the ideas. Does everybody understand what are synonyms? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, perfect. Then with our partners in our groups, we are going to try to complete the four exercises. Remember, there are four of them. That's why I sent you four links. Are you ready? Yes? Okay. Hello, Selena. I'm gonna practice the first link, the synonym. Choose the synonym, kind. Kind is like a person have a polite, so kind, like the letter A. Selena, what do you think? Nice. Yes, it's correct. Nice. Okay. It's a person uh, uh, educated. Yes. Polite. Okay. The number. The number two. Difficult. The synonym. Uh, Difficult. Normal, what number? Number two, five. Is quick? Number five. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anna, what do you think? For fast? Uh, quick. Okay. Norma, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Okay, exactly. That's it. There are four links. It's not a lot of words, but it's for us to remember some of the ideas, words that are similar. 
sometimes they they have the same meaning. Sometimes this one is stronger or a little bit less, but it's similar the idea. Okay. Okay. The, the problem is when I don't say and don't know meaning the some some word. Ah. <laughs> For example, mm -hmm. skinny. Ah, I don't okay. know. <laughs> what the meaning is kidding really because when you go to the store in 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 the in the stores like in the in the in the malls the, in the stores they sell the jeans skinny jeans ah yes ah, okay. I, 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 I remember I, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. The shopping, the shopping. You remember, huh? The shopping is uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Very yes. cute. Uh huh. Sometimes you know, but you don't remember. It's okay. That's why we practice to help you. Yes. Okay. Continue. Uh, Good job. Good job. Thank you. Teacher. You're welcome. Pass the number five. Fast. Fast. In this case, I Weak. think the letter C. Weak. Yes, weak. And the question six, noisy. Loud. And loud, okay. I accord mm -hmm. with you. Yes, excellent. Oh my gosh. I pass the other link. Mm -hmm. The second link, uh, I lost the second link. <laughs> it's okay, Gerardo. Do you want me to send again? Mm -hmm. Do you need me to send the link again, Gerardo? Yes, yes, please. Oh, okay, of course, of course. The, the, the second link, yes? Yes. Well, okay, one moment. What's that? The second link. Yes. I tried to get exactly. Exercise number three. Do you have Herardo? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Skin. <clears throat> Tini. Tini is the mm. very, very thick. The letter C. Letter C. Yes. What do you uh, think, no, Selena? Yes. It's thin. Okay. It's not correct. Not Se correct. Selena, I want, I want you to think when you go shopping. When you go shopping and you go to the stores, think skinny jeans. Remember yes. the skinny jeans. The skinny jeans, yes. Ah, uh, it's just small. Very uh, small. Uh, did you see it, Arlo? Exactly, exactly. But the, the answer say is thin is correct. Thin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because thick is like this. And thin is like this, like small, tight, uh-huh. So for example, I say, oh, you are skinny. Is the same, you are thin. Okay. You can describe the people with the same word. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Well, in the, in the, in the, A, strange. In my case, the what do you think? I don't see the word. What's the word? Nervous. Nervous. Go 
what is the similar? I don't think it's wrong. What? I don't think it's wrong. Uh, letter D, answer. Or crazy. <laughs> but I think um, answer is. Yes, is it correct? <coughs> Many. Many is a lot. Many. The next. I am in other words. What? I am in other words. No. Okay, I see we are receiving everybody. Are there any words that you didn't know? I can help you understand, I can explain. Are there any words you didn't understand or don't know? Um, but the four links are were the same. Four links? Yes. No, the four different links or four different exercises. But I no let me check. Uh, the other people, do you receive the the same or different? Yes, the, the link were different, but when we are doing the first link, automatically uh, jump to the second link, and so on. Ah. So when you do the first link, automatically the second link, it continues? Yes. When you, ah, when you click the next exercise. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. So that uh, that's easier because then you just go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's correct. But in the words, are there any words that you didn't know? Or all of the words? Because, for example, one group said they didn't know the word skinny. And skinny is the synonym thin. It's small. It's like a like the person in the genes is. Skinny jeans is not big. Mm. But it's informal. No, no, no. It's normal. It's normal conversation. That's why for when you for the shopping or the places, the people say skinny, or the people can say thin. The two words are common. But for jeans is only skinny jeans. But for people, you can say skinny or you can say thin. Okay. Remember, skinny only for jeans, thin for, for people or for jeans. Okay. okay. Any, any questions? No. No? Okay. In this moment, well, you have all of those links and if you need you go again and you repeat and you practice the different things okay okay in this moment i'm going to give you some questions and what we want to do is we want to describe the questions we want to talk about it okay here 
first let's make sure that we can read the questions and we understand okay and let's see Jose can you please read that mm -hmm. uh, describe an entry neighbor you have had so do you know what is neighbor Yeah. Yes. Is the okay? What are you watching, teacher? Tell me. What are you watching? Mm -hmm. I'm checking to see the people that have here. Somebody said they can't. They have problems. For three point one, Jose. In the telephone. Huh? In the telephone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Jose says he has problems with 3.1. Okay. 3.1 with a video. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't understand, but I talked to Jose. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, we see later. Okay. Also, we have Yvonne that did something there. The app is good that everybody, the people that are here, if you can help in the chat, sometimes I, I, I don't have time or I'm busy, but if you know the answer and someone ask a question, if you can, please answer your partner. Tell your partner, hey, uh, Yvonne or hey, Selena, the, ah, the answer is this, or I, I, have a, I have a problem, does anybody know? And we help each other in the chat, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Just because sometimes I, I see that the people write in the chat and they forget they maybe they, they don't come to the class or they send me a message uh, privately and they forget that, you know, we help each other and that's why we have the chat so that we can all help each other. Okay, let's continue with the questions. Daisy, can you read the next question? In the platform. That describe? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's in what? the, it's in in the, the chat. chat. Yes, yes, uh, in the chat. Okay. Um, the, the question. The number two, the number two. Number two. Describe mm -hmm. something you could never give away. Mm -hmm. Okay. I. Do you understand the question? Describe something no, you could I never know. give okay. away. Okay. Mm. Mm. No, I don't know. So, the idea, the question is, describe something that for you is impossible to give to someone. That for you, always you want to keep, always you want to have. Mm -hmm. okay. The form? Maybe, maybe depends. Depends on what you have. Mm -hmm. Some they people. Do it. Ah, maybe, maybe the Dewey also. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. So that's the question. Number. Okay. I'm going to read, and then you tell me if you don't understand the questions. Number three. Describe a place you will never forget. Um, I will never forget um, Monte Cristo. Okay. Okay. But good, so we're going to take a moment and I'm going to read all and then I, we check if you understand. Okay. Describe a sporting event you attended recently. Describe a memorable birthday celebration. Describe a place you go for recreation or exercise. Describe your childhood home. Describe someone you respect deeply. Describe the nightlife in a city you are familiar with. In this moment, are there any words that you don't understand? I don't understand deeply. 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 Ah, uh, deeply is very strongly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So in the question that says, describe someone you respect deeply, is describe somebody that you respect very strongly. You have strong respect for this person. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? The other words are okay? Childhood teacher. 
Ah, child. Describe your childhood home is when you were small, not not a baby, but when you were a teenager, uh, when you were young, seven years old, twelve years old. Describe your home. How was your house? Okay. It's okay. Childhood. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's from when you were a child, when you were young. And the other questions are okay? Okay. Okay. This is what we're going to do. The idea is we are practicing synonyms. So that's why all of the questions are with describe. I want you to try to use your vocabulary and with your partner, if you have your partner can help you or you can help your partner for synonyms. I'm going to do number one as an example. Okay, so number one is describe an interesting neighbor you have had. Oh, so once I had a, a neighbor that was very mad. This, ang this neighbor was angry. As uh, you see, mad and angry are synonyms. So this is what I want. We, we want to describe the person. We want to describe the thing or the location. It's not necessary to use synonyms, but it's necessary to use description. Uh, words like uh, happy, sad, angry. All the, the idea is to use our vocabulary for description. All of the adjectives. It's okay, the objective of the exercise? Okay. Well, if you have question, ask me. Don't worry, ask me in this moment. Anna, do you have question? Mm, and the number two, I don't know uh, the, the adjective. Uh, describe something you could never give away. Ah, okay. It's, okay. It's so about, I, I understand uh, something uh, not for God. Uh -huh. For example, a credit card. Maybe, maybe a credit card. I think Jose or Gerardo said the, the cell phone. I don't remember. But uh, one, one of them said the cell phone. That's good. So, as an example, uh, I, my cell phone. But explain why. My cell phone because it's very, uh, it's very good. Or my cell phone is very special. Or my cell phone is very expensive. Or my cell phone is very... Uh, Ha, or my cell phone have pictures is what mm -hmm. but the idea we want to practice is not only the answer yes no okay so so no we want to practice describe explain give reason and try to use more vocabulary this is the objective okay okay because remember this is for 3.5 these are for adjectives normal adjectives so maybe you don't know and I say ah, my partner ah, I, how do you say uh, how do you say barato and it's okay and my partner if my partner know my partner try to help me ah it's cheap or it's inexpensive or is whatever you know the idea is to try to practice using normally fluently okay okay any other questions Okay, then let's make the groups and that way we can practice all the questions with our groups. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. for number one. I mean.
Ah, okay. <laughs> hey, there you go, Anna. Good idea. Good idea. Yes, yes, yes I see. Okay. Um, well, I I describe my my neighbor. She's okay. she's special <laughs> because uh, she's angry, very mm -hmm. angry. <laughs> I, I think uh, he was a good friend because he used to spend a lot of time with him because he was a, a very loyable and we used to do all together. We get along really good with him. Jose, sorry, did you say Loyable? Yes. Okay. The the word is he was very loyal. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Loyal. Good. But this, that's exactly what you want to do. Okay. So you and Daisy, the idea is you practice, you speak, try to use the description. That way you feel more confident using the vocabularies. Okay. Okay. No. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I was living in the zone like five years ago. Ah, you know the song. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. In the second question, you do. Describe you describe something you could never give away. I never give away my glasses. Your glasses. Why, Selena? Okay. Don't worry, Gerard. Uh -huh. <laughs> because the the light it's very dangerous for my eyes. Okay, this is what you want to do. You want to describe and explain. So that way okay. you become more confident giving a complete explanation. Now let's try Gerardo. Gerardo, what is something you could never give away? Uh, my gave my phone. Uh, because my phone helped me to do my work and helped me to, helped me to do the other activities in the day. And... We are like an extension of me. Of me. <laughs> okay, exactly. That's what you want to practice. Remember, we don't want short answers. We want longer and longer and longer. That way you feel okay. that you can talk more and more, more confident, okay? Okay. 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 Good job, good job. Continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three, describe a place you will never away. Because uh, there are many people around the world, and the people um, take too long. Okay. Do you um, like more in the day or uh, during night in in Antigua? During the day. The day. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, when um, I I was in in Spain in Barcelona two years ago. Okay. And yes, it's um beautiful. Is more clean, cleaner, than Salvador, cleaner mm -hmm. than Salvador, <laughs> but, but um, is um, uh, I don't say teacher is como lleno de gente, full of people. A repeat, please. Full of people. Who? Full. 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 Ah, full, full, full of people. Yes. 
is the same is the same okay okay thank you mm -hmm. is the same in the san salvador for my husband and i and in some it, it it was raining but i would like to go again because for me it, it's a it's a good place because it's a cold place and I love that kind of water mm. as well because um, you could walk around the place and and meet meet many things. I don't know. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay. Daisy, Jose, do you have any questions? In that moment, no. Mm. Jose? In this moment, no. So far, so good. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So far, so good. That's great. That's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to hear you speaking in English and practicing. Excellent. Okay. Mm. Keep going, keep going. Okay. And this guy... Describe a memorable, memorable, memorable birthday celebration. Correct, memorable. Memorable. Mm -hmm. Something that for you, you is impact you that you remember. Mm. One week ago, I was celebrate my mom's birthday. It was memorable because all my family was in there. Okay. 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 And you, Gerardo? Um, my memorable, my memorable birthday celebration uh, was was I I a child. I have when I. I had a six years old, and I remember my first piñata. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, candy. Uh, uh, because I, I went to the other parties and never have a, a piñata for me, and my parents <laughs> off my piñata, a piñata, and I, I, this, I, I was destroyed this piñata for <laughs> so happy. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. All right, that's nice. We're going to go back to the main group, but that's good. Very good. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting more people. Okay, I see everybody had very good. You were speaking and describing and explaining. That's very good. Okay. Now, today we have one more, uh, one more objective. The objective is 3.8 is the idea is for relative clauses. Do you know what is relative clauses? No. No? Okay. The idea is similar to the adjectives. The adjectives, we give more information. We describe. We say a uh, pretty, uh, busy, or nice or good. These are the adjectives. The, rel the relative clauses is the similar function, is to help give more information. The difference is, is not one word, is a group of words. Okay, so normally 
and the relative clauses, okay, we have the specific words like the word who, that, which, uh, whose, whom, these are the different ideas. These are to give more information. This, this is the main idea, okay? Okay. Now, there are going to be, in, and in 3.8 or 3.9, you can watch the video, but the main idea is more information, okay? That's, that's it, just like an adjective. I like the chair, okay? I like the big chair, I like the blue chair. With relative clauses, we give more information than one word. I like the chair, and then normally we use the word who, that, or which. Mm -hmm. Who, who is for people. Mm -hmm. that, uh -huh. Which is for things. Yeah. And that is for both, for people mm -hmm. and for things. So I like, I like chairs that are comfortable. That's it. Yeah. That's all the relative clause is. It's just another way to give more information. Okay. I say, hey, I like my student. Ah, which student? Ah, I like my student who does the homework. Ah, it's just more information. Ah. May, or we can use that. Oh, I like the teacher. Which teacher? Ah, I like the teacher that explains the class. Is, do you understand? Is the, the idea is, is to give more information, just like an adjective, just like a description. It's, it's okay, the, the idea? Yeah. Yes. Yes, don't worry, we're going to practice, but the important is first that we try to give uh, or we understand a little bit of what a relative clause is. Okay, that's why I sent you a little link. The little link is just for you to have an idea of the grammar structure. Of course, in the, in the platform, you have a video that you can watch, 3.9, and then you have the knowledge check. But is I want to be sure that you understand. The idea is more information. Okay. So I say to, let's practice together. Okay. I tell Anna. Anna, you complete the sentence. Okay. Uh, I like people. I like people uh, that, that they smile. Okay. Exactly. Only is not necessary they. Only ah, I, okay. I like that people. smile. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. Um. Okay. Jose, you are next. Jose, I like restaurants. Uh, that had a delicious food. Exactly. That's it. That we only want to give more information. Okay, Daisy. Daisy, now it's more difficult for you. You ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. I do not. I don't like places. Um, I don't like places that, that are hot. Ah, very good. Very good. All right, we continue with Selena. Okay, Selena. Okay, I I want to go to a place. Landscape. Repeat, Selena. I want to go to a place that have a beautiful landscape. Correct. Very good. Very good. Okay, Norma. Now we try with you. Okay. I like ice cream. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Gerardo, here we go. Uh, I do not want 
food that one food I sorry Gerardo I didn't hear the last word I do not want food that food so bad okay yeah that the, that tastes so bad, that smells so bad, that, good, that is bad, no problem. This is the idea of relative clauses, is only give more information. Yeah. It's so so, it's okay the idea? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's yes, more it's clear. Yes, it's, that's why we, first we practice with the adjectives because the adjectives help us because we understand, ah, adjectives describe, relative clauses describe more. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's review what we learned today and yesterday. Okay, we learned yesterday present participles, past participles. Jose. What was the past participle? Uh, there are uh, a verb that are ending with ed. Okay. It's good for regular verbs and with ed. Uh, for the regular, we have to memorize them because there are no follow the rules. Yes, are completely different. <laughs> What happens, Alina? <laughs> Don't worry. Sorry, my husband is near. Don't worry. We <laughs> but I like I like how you are. <laughs> okay. Anna, what was the present participle? Present. Mm -hmm. Uh, is the um, uh, when use uh, to be uh, mm -hmm. uh, more what uh, um, past participle the verb mm, no. no we no. add ing ah, ing yes yes it's uh, the verb okay. with ing is the verb with ing. Gerardo, what are synonyms? The synonyms uh, is the, the same thing, but the other word, uh, the similar, the similar word. Okay, very so good. The, yeah, like no, that. no. Mm -hmm. Oh, is the different word? What? Similar meaning. Exactly. Or different words, similar meaning. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Norma, what are relative clauses? Good. It's similar to the adjective, but the difference is the adjective is one word. The relative clauses is with who or that or which and more information okay any questions for tonight anything that is not clear no uh, the thing charge the next in the perform the thing charge the point three point eleven 3.11, okay, let's go to 3.11, okay, 3.11, it was the, the section we, we saw, the, ah, yes, the, much. Uh, about the, 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 the Harry Potter, right, the, the, the writer, mm -hmm. and, and Daisy, what is the question for 3.11? It doesn't charge the the picture or the video or no? Ah, uh, no, you don't see. I can see. 
Okay, okay. And um, I can answer. Okay, no problem. Let me see um, if we can take a picture and send to you in the in the WhatsApp. That way you can see. I, I will try to do that. Or if somebody can take a, a, a picture and send to, to Daisy, that way she can she can do the reading. But if not, we try. Okay. Well, don't worry, Daisy. We help you. There's no problem. We send you the picture so you can do the reading. Thank you. Okay. Well, then have a good night and I see you guys tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Have a nice night. You too. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye-bye.